everybody. I just finished uh, writing my sermon for Sunday, and I wanted to make this quick video to uh, present you a few, a few questions for you to think about to prepare for this coming Sunday. It is howling wind outside, and it is snowing, and I think the first real kind of snowstorm of the year. And so I've warmed up. I've got a wood stove going, uh, in the, in, I've got the fireplace going in the wood stove. I got my two chihuahuas with me to help me. I've got, uh, this is Mojo. Say hi, Mojo. And then up here is Moose. Say hi to everybody, Moose. Say hi, Moose. There's Moose. Um, the question I want you to think about is, um, when was the last time that you've really suffered in life? You know, it's a hard question, but it's an important question to ask and answer to get ready to read and think about Mark's Gospel. You know, when we think about the Gospels, we think about these books that are inspirational stories about the life of Jesus. And indeed they are. But when you take Mark's Gospel and you separate it out, what you find is a book that talks about the suffering of people and the presence of God in the midst of that suffering. And there's really no way to soften the message of Mark's, uh, of Mark's Gospel. And that is that life can be very difficult. Life can be very painful. And sometimes, yes, it does feel as though that we've been abandoned by God. And in the end of the Gospel, Mark challenges his people to remain strong and to have courage and have endurance. So I want you to think. Think about to your own hard scrapes, your own hard times. Where did you feel God? Did you feel abandoned by God? Did you ever want to walk away from God? Did you ever feel as though there is no God because of the suffering that you had to endure? You know, if you were sitting with somebody who is suffering, what would you tell them about God? What would you tell them about how to find hope? You know, looking back on your own suffering, did you ever realize that those times were very, very important times for you? That you learned some, some major life lessons from them? You know, I've had my own scrapes in life, and, and looking back on them, I, I, I hate to look back on them, the, the pain that they caused. But I also know that um, they taught me some very significant things about, about how to have courage, about how to have faith, about how to have endurance. You know, and, and things are really good right now. It's a, it's, a warm, it's a warm home, and I've got two great chihuahuas with me. Um, I'm talking to you. Life is good. But I also know that life can turn on a dime. And when life does turn, I hope I, I've learned those life lessons about God and about faith and about courage. So I invite you to read Mark's Gospel. It only takes an hour, about an hour. And look for the messages of hope that you find from Mark. What is he trying to tell his community to do? What is he trying to tell his community about faith and suffering? Well, sorry to bring this kind of this heavy message to you in the middle of the week. Uh, hope you're doing great. Um, hope to see you on Sunday and have a great rest of your week and the weekend. Blessings. We'll see you. Bye.